It's rough to see a strong man weep. George weeps. Don't know if he ever did, but he does now. He weeps for the unsolved mysteries. He weeps for the death of his people. The kind of things that keep us curled in at night, wondering. Me, I do no weeping. But seeing the things I saw, that changes you. Can't go on being the same man. It goes, it all goes. I can't help but feeling, though, like I'm floating. Not sure where I'm going. Like some chumped up little bird floating through the air before crashing in a pit of flames. Only a matter of time before this happened, huh? Uh huh. What kind of an ad puts collapsible steel doors in a library? The architect? I'm just saying. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. Any idea who it is? Uh, no, no, not yet. We're waiting on wood to get here. He's an ass. He's reckless. He's not reckless. He's just an ass. Did someone just say ass? Uh, n no, sir. I said ass. Ma. Denise? Dennis? What do we got here? Caucasian male. Uh, student. Caught between two library shelves. Likely crushed to death. Time of death? Oh, we were waiting for you. Uh, Denise? Dennis? Brian. Who? What? Brian Gerritsen, sophomore, political science major. Oh. I knew him. He used to work for the phones. Nice guy. Time of death? Wait a minute. What is it? What is it? Wood. Hey, what's it? I've got to go. I used to love washing my face. Now it just turns to blood on my hands. That brought on the way in? Mm. Oh! Look, you're... I know who did this. It looked like an accident. What are you talking about? It wasn't an accident. It was a murder. A murder? Brian, he worked for the phones at PS, right? He must have heard something. Something he wasn't supposed to hear. And he got killed. That's... Okay, Wood. If that's true, then who could have possibly murdered... The man. The horseman. The horseman? Wood, that's fucking ridiculous. You killed him yourself! This goes deeper than you can ever imagine. What? This goes deeper than you can imagine. That's what she said. Who? Wood, what the fuck? I... It's not safe here. I... I have to go. I couldn't trust them. This whole thing was rotten. Right down to the core. Just like Vanessa had told me all those months ago. Hello? Hey, um, uh, Harry? Richard? Yeah, Harry, I, I need some help. <laughs> Where did you put it this time? How big was it? No, it, it's not like that. Please, uh, just come by my door. 
All right. Richard's a slob and a drunk. He's the sort of thing that I like to avoid. But he's my brother. You always have to make exceptions for family. Hold your fucking horses! Uh, hey, Harry. You wanna come inside? Said you needed me? Uh yeah. Would you stop that? No. Oh look. What? I am I need your help. Uh, I got a citation. Richard. I didn't do anything wrong. I, uh, was drunk. Okay. Uh, I mean, but it was so hot, right? I did... And you got a citation. I was, I was just so hot and I went outside. And... What do you want from me? You have to do something, Harry. You're a cop. Why? I can't afford a citation! Dude, with tuition rising every semester, I, I, it's worse enough as it is! I can't help you with this. But you have to! What would Ma think? Don't talk to me about Ma! She wouldn't want to see you like this. You can't talk to me about Ma. You know you can't! Not after what you did! She- Fuck you, Harry! Look, I'm uh, sorry. Harry, I, I, uh, uh... Look, I... I can try to help you out, but... Things are a little tense right now. Is everything okay? Yeah, just... Fifty kegs? Planning a rager? You're underage, Richard. Yes, Harry, I know. <laughs> Hence the citation. No, no, this is good. The horse. He was moving kegs on and off campus through the underground booze trade. Yeah. Now, he's gone, but his contacts are still on campus. They must have been the ones that did the murder. Wait, what? There was a horse? I, I don't follow. You get your booze through unofficial channels, right? You said a horse- a, a horse is smuggling cakes! What the fuck?! Richard, where do you get your booze? Through the fox. Uh, he handles all the booze shipments on and off campus. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck about that horse, though? I, oh, did you mean mule? I want to meet him. I want to meet this fox. I really don't know if this is a good idea. They're gonna know you're a cop. I'll disguise myself. I'll dress myself up as a student. Harry, I, I don't know. I want to meet the fox. I'd heard of the fox. Always thought he was a myth. Some mythical booze kingpin. Moves his stuff through campus like a plumber slipping through a sewer. Never believed it though. I guess now I don't know what to believe. Richard phoned ahead, told him I was a prospective buyer. Said I had a lot of cash, but that I wouldn't commit until I met their supplier. Hopefully this will draw them out. You the fox? The mule, he don't speak. He's just here to make sure things go according to plan and safe. The fox, pleased to meet you, Mr. Hey, Humphrey. Bogart?
<laughs> uh, yes. You hear that, mule? <laughs> you piece of shit, you're so dumb. Anyways, well worry. As much as it would delight me, I know your name's not Humphrey. I understand we all have our aliases, and certainly I'm no hypocrite. <laughs> but uh, you see, Mr. Bogart, how do I know you're not a member of the flock? I can't even recite the alma mater. Well, that doesn't prove anything. Luckily, I always carry a flask with me. Drink this jungle juice. Testing my tolerance to see if I was public safety. How do I know it's not poison? Ugh. All alcohol is poison, Mr. Bogart. Some just take longer than others. I have no fear, Mr. Bogart. Just a little test of faith. Oldest trick in the book. Excellent. Now that we have that all out of the way, we can finally talk some business. Not until I need your supplier. I need to make sure it's the right stuff. My, 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 you are a picky little shit, aren't you? He'll be here shortly. How do I know this isn't gonna come and bite me in the ass? Have no fear, Mr. Bogart. You see our supplier? He's on the inside. The whole time, I was right. In the meantime, my associate might be stopping by with a little sample. He's a delightful little perversion that P.S. likes to call... Screw up. In the haze of the jungle juice, I try to remember where I had heard that name before. Someone was smuggling in booze through the department. I was as close as ever to finding out who moved the 50 kegs. have known. It wouldn't have been that easy. Sometimes the universe just likes to remind you that answers don't come with a bad lie and a swig of booze. Hey, boss. Hey, look, here he comes now. When was the last time you had a drink? It's been a long fucking time, I'll tell you that. Holy shit, it's the dick butt! It's MPS! Oh shit! Oh shit! Scram, boys! is dead. The fox? He's dead. I was right. Yeah, yeah, well, 
We get it. In the meantime, the rest of us are going to go clean up your mess. How come it seems that every time you take care of a case, everyone winds up dead? Come on, Denise, we need to go. Yeah, I get you. Would you stay here, okay? Try and figure out what the fox meant when he said he had a man on the inside. Denise, I never told you what the fox said. Denise? Denise! Oh. Richard was a stupid drunk. He did some really dumb shit in his life. But he knew exactly who he was, and he never doubted it. I went into this morning feeling like I'd changed. Sometimes I guess you keep on changing. Like a moth stuck in a cocoon dangling over a pit of cobras. Regardless, you don't end up any closer to the truth. I tried. It turns out I'm still washing my face with blood. I'm flying through the air, burning up everything around me. Like a Molotov Falcon. 